If you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins, then go check out ufifa.com and use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 5% off. What's up guys, Guinness here bringing you my thoughts on the official FIFA 15's rating reveal on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Yes, today I'm going to be talking about the top 25 players that have been announced in terms of their rating on FIFA 15. And yes, there are some really controversial ones. I don't know what EA were thinking. They've gone absolutely nuts. They've gone crazy. Twitter has gone mad. Everything has just gone completely crazy. People just don't understand what is going on. And you know what? I've got a feeling that EA have decided there's no such thing as bad publicity and decided to make the ratings messed up get everyone talking about them and of course then you know what it raises awareness and publicity about the game it could be a smart move or you know what they could be genuinely retarded we just don't know but anyway guys if this video can get to 200 likes that would be amazing make sure you follow me on twitter as well and what i'll do is i'll speak a little bit about the players that interested me from 25 down to 10 and then of course it's mainly those top 10 players so we start off with Di maria decent player you know 86 overall now he's a cam though, that's the biggest difference for him. And he, of course that gives you the options to convert him to striker as well, which is pretty decent. And you know what, he's there at Man United now. They're going to have a strong team, an ultimate team for sure. What I've seen with Aguero, the next player here, is that, you know, he looks pretty similar in terms of his stats anyway, but he's had a minus two with his rating. And they seem to have messed about with the overall ratings, but sometimes giving them better ratings. I'll show you what I mean with the top two players in more detail. Lewandowski, the next player, he's going to be highly used, you know, at Bayern Munich now. So, you know, he's going to be useful if you want to build those Bayern Munich squads, especially with Ribery and Robin as well. That's a potent front three. The same as always, you know, four-star wheat and skin was pretty tasty and 87 rated overall. Falcao's had a downgrade in terms of overall rating, but hasn't it been affected too much in terms of his card face stats? So you know he's still going to be effective, still got that four-star wheat foot and skill moves as well. So he should be effective, another highly rated Man United player. Then we have Eden Hazard, he had a great season last year, 88 rated, surprisingly he's rated higher than Gareth Bale which is absolutely nuts, but there you go anyway, Bale had a fantastic season, probably even better than Eden Hazard last year, but there you go, you know that's how the ratings work. Frank Ruby had a great season last year, he was voted the best player in Europe as well, and also was in the top 3 for the Ballon d'Or, so you know what, it's no surprise here that he's still highly rated, 88, he took a little bit of a hit overall but he's still maintained the things that make him useful, got the high medium work rates as well and also he's got the 5 star skill moves so he's going to be another decent player to use and of course at that Bayern Munich, you know they're super strong this year so definitely one to look out for. Suarez, I had a go at rating him and you know what, I got carried away again, he's an 89 overall, I thought he'd be a 90 but then that's not too bad the way the ratings are this year. So, you know what, four star weapon skill moves is going to be very useful. And you know what, they've increased his shooting as well, which I thought they would do. So, he's going to be definitely useful. Now, we come to the top five players, and I'll talk about them all. 90 rated goalkeeper, that is going to be absolutely insane. He's going to be unstoppable in terms of you're going to struggle to score past this guy. He's going to cost an absolute fortune as well, but he deserves it to be fair. There's not anyone quite on his level in terms of goalkeeping right now. Now, this is the one that upset me the most. What on earth are EA thinking? What have they done? The only reason I can see them doing something like this is maybe because the guy who's in at EA who's in charge of the player ratings, maybe he got constantly abused by Ibra on Ultimate Team. And you know what? He decided, I'm going to get my revenge. I'm going to nerf him right down and I'm going to make him not as effective in this game. So as you can see, the biggest thing there that should stand out to you is right at the bottom. He now has four star skills. Absolute travesty. I don't know what they're thinking. This is crazy. There's a campaign right now, we should get him his 5 star skills back, you know, he deserves it. If anyone deserves to maintain the 5 star skills, then it should be this guy. There is no reason why they've downgraded him. Still going to be a useful player, look at that physicality as well. 86, surprisingly Diego Costa's got a little bit more, which does surprise me, but you know, he's still going to be effective. But losing that 5 star skills, knocking down to 4 star, I don't know what EA was smoking. And I don't know what they were thinking either. But who knows, eh? Who knows what they're thinking? Let's hope that we can do something and get that changed around before the start of FIFA, but it's very unlikely. Iron Robin had a fantastic World Cup, you know, still effective, but for me the killer is that two-star weak foot. So he's going to be a useful player, but until they sort out that weak foot, he's never going to be the player that he could be. Now we move on to Ronaldo. And what I found strange was, you know what, 92 rated? That's not very good, I thought. But what I've noticed is, in terms of all his other key stats that make him a great player are still decent. Five-star skill moves as well, that four-star weak foot, though he should have had a five-star weak foot, I think, anyway. But look at that, though. He's maintained the same overall rating, but his stats have seen a healthy increase in terms of, look at that shooting, that's gone up by three. His dribbling and pace have remained the same as well, and then his passing has gone up. So that seems like he's had an upgrade, and that's what makes me think at the moment, you know what, they're lowering the overall ratings. Maybe it's because it gives them more scope to give these players informs and you know, the top players, if they've had like, you know, 
so many good games, then of course you're gonna struggle in terms of how many informs you can give them. So maybe that's why they're knocking the ratings down a little bit. But you know what, he's been upgraded essentially. That's what you need to think of. And then we've got Messi, gone down one overall, but again, surprisingly, you know, when you look at and compare him to his, like, you know, his card on FIFA 14, and you see it's more like an upgrade, which is strange, you know, plus one on the pace and plus two on the passing. You know, the defending has gone down for everyone, that's completely changed, and then the physicality as well, that's completely changed as well. So, you know, you can't really compare those two things. But you look at that, gone down one overall, yet his stats have gone up. EA, what are you doing? I think what EA need to do is EA need to come out and explain what they're doing with these ratings, because you know what, right now, it just looks like they've just, you know, given it to some retarded person or given it to a child and just said, look, look, here's the ratings, there you go, do what you want. There just doesn't seem to be any logic to it all. But anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on it. You know what? Crazy, controversial. Who knows what EA are thinking, but it definitely gets everyone talking about it. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.